Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Today I'm going to show you how I wired up my GoPro 10 bones to my iFlight Nazgul Evoke. But this setup will work for any FPV drone as well. I figured since I was going to take the time to do this myself, I might as well make a video of it. Thought it would be useful to many others as well. So let's just jump right into it. And before we begin, let me just give a quick credit, a shout out to Aerial Pixels YouTube channel for this walkthrough as I did not come up with this setup myself. Links to Aerial Pixels channel below. And for what it's worth, this is probably the best way to wire up your GoPro 10 bones because hardwiring everything to your quads flight controller it's just gonna leave you with a bunch of permanent dangling wires that will most likely get tangled up in your props at some point. And you may not always wanna be flying with your GoPro 10 bones either. So this is gonna give you some flexibility. Okay, the wiring method in this video is gonna let you move your GoPro bones from quad to quad without permanently cabling everything and soldering it to your quads flight controller. Also, I should preface this video with the disclaimer. This video specifically outlines the setup for production GoPro bones cameras and not the pre-production camera that came with a GH 1.25 pre-production connector. So just to be clear, the actual production GoPro bones came with a 1.5 millimeter pitch three pin connector, and that's what will be using in this video. It's what most of you should have already. Okay, here's what you're gonna need to get started. First, you're gonna need at least one of these cables and you'll find them on the links I've left below. It's a six inch cable that connects directly into the back of your GoPro Bones connector. Now you should have one of these cables already that came with the retail GoPro package, but you'll probably want more than one of these if you're flying multiple FPVs and you wanna have yourself a few spares just as a backup. Next, you'll want this balancing plug cable. This I got from iFlight. It's also found on Amazon. Again, links below. It's gonna run you about $8 a piece. Now we're gonna cut off the USB-C connector and solder on the six inch cable. Then you'll just need some solder and of course a soldering iron and some heat shrink tubing. So the first thing you'll do is cut the USB-C off of this iFlight cable. Then you wanna strip off the wires, fingernails work just fine, and we'll tin each end of the wire. And you'll notice in this video, I'm using the Pine Sill Smart Mini Portable Soldering Iron as shown here. It reaches operating temps in about 12 seconds and it can work off a LiPo battery or a USB-C connection with a 25 watt power supply. It has multiple tips you can use with it as well. So first we'll just tin the end of these wires. Then we're gonna add our heat shrink tubing. Solder the two ends together. Apply a little heat with our heat shrink gun. And you can remove the yellow cable if you're not using it for powering up or powering down the GoPro via an available uh, UART. I'm not using it, so I'm just gonna remove it. You can use a pair of pointed tweezers or a knife, something sharp to remove this cable. Uh, I had to get my glasses on for this. It's a little, pretty small. Just lift the tab up to remove the cable. Once the tab's lifted, the cable should just slide right out and then just press the tab back down. And there you have it. Your cable's all ready to connect to your GoPro bones and your FPV LiPo. Your connector only fits one way, so don't force it. It goes red to the right, and when you're ready to fly, just plug in the LiPo battery and you're ready to go. Just connect your LiPo to the balance lead, and it works with any 4S or 6S battery balance connector. Again, I made myself a few of these connectors just so I had some spares. You never know when you're gonna need them. Figured I'd had everything on the bench already, so I might as well make a few spares. We all know accidents happen, so figured while I had everything all set up, I might as well make a few of these. 
And really that's it for this video. Again, all the links to any of these products are down below that I mentioned in the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Always enjoy hearing from everyone. And if you enjoy these types of tutorial videos, let me know in the comments. I'll do more of them. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment. Always helps the channel. Until next time, fly safe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.